Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So, uh, I just received um, a package from my buddies at Five Call Survival Supply, and they sent me um, a couple survival kits. So, the first one we're going to look at today, um, I'm really excited about because this is the Essie Large Tin Kit, and if you've seen these things online, they look awesome. Um, I have never messed with one of these things before, so today we're going to do an unboxing. I'm going to go through the contents with you inside, and then the next day I'm going to go out and actually in the field and start testing the stuff this thing comes with because it doesn't mean anything just to look at it and go, oh, that's cool. You got to go outside and you got to play with it, and you got to actually test the limits of the gear to make sure that it's going to actually work because these things aren't cheap. Um, and if you're going to be buying one of these, I want you guys to get the best um, opinion possible of what the limitations of this kit is. So stick around because we're going to open this thing up and see what's inside. All right, so that's the package it comes in. Pretty exciting. I'm, uh, I can't wait to open this thing up. I think it's going to be so cool. So first thing we see here, we got a big tin. Has a rubber band around it, and it's been taped, sealed. So I guess for long-term storage, this would be helps keep it waterproof or water resistant. Let's put it that way. Goes to the side. And there are the goodies all laid out. Look at that. So, first thing we have is an SE Knives. Kandiru. Um, I've never I've never owned a Kandira, so it's a small little knife, but man, it pretty darn sharp out of the box. I've heard good things about these as PSK knives, personal survival kit knives, so we'll test it out in the field, but right there, that's a big bonus to have this in the kit. <clears throat> You're going to need some kind of knife, so you might as well have something like that. Second thing is we have... An NDUR fire steel. Of course, anytime I get a fire steel, I have to try it out. Sometimes you gotta scrape the um, the lining off these things. There's like a, a coating. Hmm. Not getting much spark with that. There we go. Just had to get that coating worn off. It's throwing pretty good sparks. Okay, enough of that. Brass snare wire. Seems like it's good quality. Some of those uh, quick tinders or tinder quicks forget what they're called exactly but it's basically a cotton swab it has some kind of treatment to it so it helps you can pull that apart and use that to start a fire with nice signal mirror with a nice protective case, that's good. That'll come in handy. Okay, this is kind of cool. This is a uh, SE Knives notebook. There's the paper in there. I gotta, you have to rip this open. But then this has the navigation cards so it looks like uh, 1 by 24 scale 
grid reader, one by 25 scale grid reader, 150th scale grid reader, some instructions for their survival cards, basic topo map reading. So really nice uh, map reading gear to go with uh, what I think is a compass in here. Let's see. Yes. Wow. Okay, this is a nice compass. This is a this is a Sunto. This is not an El Cheapo, you know, Walmart special. This is a real deal compass that you can depend on. So right off the bat, this is a big deal to have something that good in this kit. And then we have some accessory cord. That's military grade. I have some of this stuff already at home and it's great stuff. This will be good for making a neck lanyard for that knife, um, making some other lanyards and things like that. <clears throat> okay, set of whirl bags. So you unfold these and you can actually store water in these. These will be nice. I'll show you how those work in the field. This is interesting. This is Kevlar trip line, 75 feet. 80 pound test. And it comes in a little, little container, reusable container. That's nice. Pencil to go with our grid reader and our notebook. Holy cow, look at that. A real Swiss Army knife. Not a knockoff, not a cheapo, not a small, tiny one. This is. Oh, what model is this? Is this the Tinker or the Camper? Has the all Phillips head screwdriver, coarse your tweezers and toothpick, main blade. Can opener, bottle opener, screwdriver. And then what else is in here? Oh yeah, nice, the saw. That'll come in handy. So another piece of high quality gear. Flagging tape, very useful. Now I've seen these before and I actually have something similar to this. These are, um, these are strobe lights and I'll show you how these things work when we start doing field testing with this kit but these things are very bright uh, they're bright strikes you can look them up if you want to but they um, there you go there's a green one there's a slow steady on and off we got two of those in the kit Pretty nice. More quality gear. Wow. A fishing kit. A whole tin just dedicated to a fishing kit. That's pretty impressive. We'll open that up here in a second and take a look at that. Let's continue going through. Okay, looks like we have a sewing kit of some sorts. So this material can be used as a patch material but then it also has some good heavy duty needles enclosed in it that's a bonus nice whistle roll of duct tape Water treatment, portable agua, aqua. And then we have some safety matches. These are actually sealed. 
kind of like a mini lifeboat match. That'll be nice. Then we have some looks like survival cards. So there's teaches you about camouflage, water treatment, fire building. So we'll have to open those up and see what's all of that it's all about. Fresnel lens, which is great for starting fire, and also map reading. And then of course one of their their basic survival cards that comes with all their knives. Okay, let's take a look at the fishing kit. Fishing lures, salmon eggs, a f fly, bait holders, leader, weights, floats, 50 feet of 12 pound test fishing line, and a desiccant pack. There it is. Nice float. Plenty of room in here to add more stuff. That's what I like about this kit so far is like this container, I can add way more fishing equipment to this and I have some small flies and things I can add to it. So. Um, once you open this and start messing with it, you can go back in and add things that you feel are missing or that you would like to have. Um, you're not, you're not just have, you don't have to just use what they have in their kit. You can add to it because there's so much room in these containers. There's a nice little fly. It's all set up and ready to go. You don't have to put it together. There's the salmon eggs. Another float. And of course there's your leaders and sinkers and all that down there. So pretty decent little fishing kit. Certainly could add more to it, but I think for what you're getting, it's pretty good. The container has a nice seal to it. You can see that ring of rubber right there. So that'll help keep it watertight. Plenty of room to add more stuff. And then of course, if you don't know, this container is designed to actually boil water. That's why it has this fold out handle. So we're gonna try that too. I think what the first test we'll try is take this thing out in the field and using the knife and the fire starting equipment that they gave to us, we'll start a fire, boil some water, maybe pour that water in the whirl packs for storage. Try that out. <clears throat> I'm really curious how this little knife's going to do. Always hesitant on small knives. But it's an SE knife. So I'm, I know it's going to work well. They design great blades. I'm, I'm a fan of theirs for sure. I need to take that cord and make a a neck necklace for this and also for our whistle and our signal mirror get those on a lanyard get our pocket knife on a lanyard so we don't lose it maybe attach our fire steel to that I think the only thing that I see that's missing from this and this is something you would add anyway because they probably can't ship it is a butane lighter I'd throw in a couple butane lighters and I think you'd be good to go but you know they can't ship those um, for obvious reasons, but I think uh, being able to add a few extra items of your own is what makes this kit so appealing. And this, that, just the fact that you're getting really quality stuff. I mean, this is a quality knife. I don't even know how much one of these things runs. It's got to be 25 bucks, right? This is probably in the 30, well, probably more than that. It's probably in the $40 range, $50 range for one of these knives. I'll have to look it up. I mean, you can price this stuff out on your own. So you're getting good stuff. And then, of course, um, a Sunto Compass, which I believe are made in Finland, right? I mean, it's not, not cheapo compass. 
So that's going to cost you a little bit of cash too. That's probably a twenty dollar compass right there. So the so far, just those three things are high quality, and everything else seems to be pretty quality stuff too. I don't see any junk in this kit at all. All right, so that's it for today. Um, remember, this is part one video. This is not going to be the only testing of this kit. I've opened it up. We've we've seen the contents. Contents look great. We need to get this thing out in the field. That's going to probably happen tomorrow or the next day, and then I'll get that video put together for you and get that posted as well. So this is part one. Um, because definitely need to get this thing outside and see how it does. I'm really anxious to test all this gear and put it, you know, just put it through its paces. Um, and then as a sneak peek. The other survival kit that Five Call Survival Supply sent me is this one. So that is going to be another video coming up. And this thing is another awesome kit that I'm really looking forward to trying out and opening it up. But I'm not going to dig into this quite yet. Um, I want to put the first one, the SE kit, to its through its paces first. And then we'll see how it goes. So thanks for watching. As always, please like, subscribe, and share. Check me out on Instagram, prepared underscore wanderer, I believe is my handle on there. Um, I'll have a link below for that. Um, please check me out there. And also uh, links for the Amazon store are below and the patron account are below too. So we'll see you next time.